you. You're finally awake. Hi everyone, Sky here from Skyline Stars Cosplay, and I'm here to talk to you about how I can turn my free-to-use paper blueprint pattern of the Skyrim Steel Sword into your very own full-fledged prop. This is all made out of EVA foam. It is con-safe, and it would work perfectly for any Dragonborn, Imperial Soldier, Stormcloak, Ayla the Huntress, Lydia, the list could go on for like ever. As mentioned before, this pattern is completely free to use all over on my Ko-Fi, which you can find linked below. But if say you wanted to make a steel axe or a steel great axe, I am a personal fan of the steel great axe, I also have the complete Skyrim steel weapons bundle over on my Etsy. Right now. All six of them, including the steel sword. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So first you're going to start out with printing out the actual paper pattern, cutting it out, and taping it together. Simple as that. Next we're going to figure out what to do with the core of the sword. So for the handle, I'm just using a 1 inch PVC pipe. And for the inner core of the actual blade, I'm just using this leftover piece of wood I had. You can honestly just buy your own like wooden dowel and use that. Just make sure it fits within the slanted sides. Next, we're going to separate our swords into more digestible parts. Next, I'm going to trace the blade onto 5mm EVA foam. I'm also going to note what parts need to be cut at a 45 degree angle, which is seen on the pattern piece. Then, I'm going to start cutting. Holding my blade at a 45 degree angle, make sure the blade is very sharp, as I didn't. I'm just going to cut down that edge so it makes a nice little bevel. Here I am peeling it apart because, again, use a sharp blade, it's best. And there we have a nice beveled edge, and that's going to basically be the edge of the sword. Here's a second piece. Making sure the bevels are all correct. And here are the two pieces laid together. So inside of these pieces we're going to lay that wooden dowel uh, to add more support to the blade, because honestly it's a little floppy. Sandwich them together and the two bevel edges should match up perfectly. Next, let's move on to the hilt, which is going to be sandwiched four layers of 5mm EVA foam. You can see easily how thick it's going to be, but that will be perfect with our 1 inch PVC pipe. We want to just slide this hilt over the PVC pipe so it's easier to assemble, so make sure you just note where the hole is. After that, we're going to cut out every single other piece out of four layers of EVA foam. Now we have this collection, and honestly, I just use scissors to get more of the clean, crisp edge on some of these parts. After we have these together, we're going to contact cement all of the layers together. And remember, when working with contact cement, please wear a respirator and work in a well-ventilated area. This stuff is bad. Here are all of the layers and pieces glued together, and you can see how thick they are compared to the handle. Next, we're going to mark exactly where we need to dremel so that our PVC rod can fit nicely onto each part. And using our handy dandy dremel, we're just going to hollow them out. And here is the completed construction. They're not glued down yet because I wanted to check the size, but I think they all fit pretty snugly. Next, using our Dremel, we're just going to sand around the entire edges of each of the pieces just to get that nice smooth finish. This also helps remove any layer lines that you might have. Here are all the parts sanded down. You can see that it removed a lot of the bulk of the mess. And you can do this with a hand sander, it will just take a lot longer and your EVA foam will be uh, more rough around the edges. So now, let's cut out this pattern! But before we do that, we need to Dremel down the hammered in holes that are in the bottom of it. So I changed my Dremel tip to a more of a ball almost, and just sort of tapped it into the EVA foam. Here's that final textured look. Hold on there. Before we get more into this pattern, which I'm sure you're deeply involved in and following step by step, I just want to remind you that you can get this pattern for free over on my Ko-Fi, or on my Etsy as a complete bundle of all the steel weapons. Yes, you back there that said, I want a steel dagger. Got that. What about a steel... Hmm... Warhammer. 
got that. But what about a steel great sword? Got that. <laughs> so, just a reminder, you can find those all on my Etsy right over here. And let's head back to the tutorial. Let's cut out this intricate pattern. So first I started off with just cutting out the outline as a nice base. And on the screen foam is where I started with the actual pattern. I cut out each hole painstakingly with an X-Acto knife and this did take forever. And then I had to do it again. So here's the final look though. For the bottom guard, I just cut out the outline. The pattern was pretty small. And to assemble each of these patterns together, I did the outline on top of the cutouts and then everything on top of the actual built piece. I also took this time to assemble the blade fully with adding in the core, just contact cemented everything in there just to make it a little less floppy. And I also dremeled out a little piece that the actual sword will uh, sit in. Thanks, Dremel. Speaking of thinking of my Dremel, I took the Dremel down to all of the sides and edges of my sword and just sort of beveled them even more. I also used the Dremel on the sides here just to smooth them out. And for the leather wrap around the handle, I just took some more one millimeter EVA foam, wrapped it around and called it a day. I ended up using hot glue as my main attachment just because contact cement was not working with the smoothness of the PVC pipe. Just be aware that with hot glue to use really strong Gorilla hot glue sticks and be aware of heat. I also used hot glue to attach the fake leather onto the handle, just sort of gluing it down as I went. And for the little tiny leather bindings, I cut them out of one millimeter EVA foam and attached them with contact cement. Pretty nice and they're pretty stuck on too. And with that, we have the completely assembled sword. To prime your EVA foam for painting, make sure you heat seal it with your heat gun. And here's what that looks like. And I just use this gloss protective enamel just as the first couple layer before laying on a thick layer of black. Paint job is pretty simple. I just use this metallic gilding wax and just layered it onto the sword. Because the pattern is 3D, I just simply dry brushed over the top layer and it gave that nice metallic sheen while leaving the bottom part still black. I did the same thing for the hilt and there we have all of the silver parts painted. Gilling wax is great because of how shiny it is and how metallic it is, but also how easy it is to apply and sort of get into all those crevices. For the leather handle, I just painted it brown with some highlights. And here is the final sword. Thank you all so much for watching my tutorial on how I turned this paper pattern that I had made into this prop sword. Perfect for any cons, LARP, Ren Fairs, anything you go to. And just a reminder that you can find this free pattern over on my Ko-Fi, linked right here and down below. But if you wanted a different steel weapon from Skyrim, I also have the complete series bundle of all the Skyrim weapon blueprints, all on my Etsy. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you do make something out of this, please tag me. I want to share it so bad, please. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful day and stay crafty. Thank you all so much for watching my Skyrim steel sword tutorial, and I hope that you enjoyed. This has been a labor of love for the past like month and a half, getting all these patterns and that together. And I just want to do a special thanks to my patrons, Martin, Bulls, Brandon, Nux, and the Phoenix Ghost. Thank you all so much for your support. And remember, if you want the free Skyrim Steel Sword pattern, you can check out my Ko-Fi. And if you want to buy the complete set of all of the steel weapons, you can check my Etsy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.